So here is something new that I've been waiting for. This is a DI kit, it's not a uh, ready model, of a torpedo that is powered by I think two batteries if I remember. But it is a kit to assembly, not a ready uh, toy, it's a kit with a stand. I, you may not know but I love to assemble kits like uh, like that robot that I did assembly I did not open it I did get it today I still have uh, another machine to film but I so want to uh, take this one uh, uh, assembly as far as on the box I did, did get a, a violet color thing <laughs> too bad because the black and the green look better but then that's not a big deal okay so let me open it uh, of course I have my tools uh, I have my uh, knife because this kit is for kids you will not I don't think you will need this so that's ju that just let's say for the for opening the box but I think you will need the cutters just to get it loose so this uh, this will be main tool I think for the model okay so let me open it and let's see what we get so here are the parts as you can see the box is well packaged and much wider than the <laughs> package inside uh, that's more space for the all the writing Okay, so here is uh, as far as I can see. Here is the uh, the stand, the uh, I don't know the fins, uh, those on the back that steal the bolts. Sorry, I don't know the name. I don't know what this is, but I will eventually check that. Uh, you have the motor. I see a some kind of axle. I think that transfer the. Uh, from, uh, connect the motor to the propeller on the back. Uh, two double A batteries. Yes, two double A batteries. A turn on switch. Uh, some connectors. I see here is the back. Uh, oh, this one is rubber. I wonder what it is. Uh, the main body. As you can see, I did get the violet one. And the seals, that's something interesting. I don't know, this kit is not expensive, it's very cheap, but it's nice that you get this and the manual. Uh, in the Chinese, maybe there is something. Oh, uh, sorry, and the stickers. Uh, here are the stickers, the stripes uh, for the barrels. Uh, sticker do not touch. Oh, for the uh, propeller on the back. It's a tiger fish electric power torpedo. <laughs> That's the model. So do we get anything in the English? I uh, no. So only Chinese. But actually, as you can see, let me show you a little bit. As you can see, it's child assembly <laughs> friendly. Oh, so that is the propeller on the black one. As you can see, there is nothing very complicated in here to, to assembly. Just a simple pushing, connecting. Oh, so there is a power switch on the front. Oh, that's great. So the power switch is located on the front. That was that uh, rubber part, because if it, uh, it hit something, Probably it just bounce out, and that's quite nice. Okay, let me take out the pass. I'll leave this still for now. This is the sorry, the camera may pick up this uh, the sound very loud. Okay, so we have a connectors here you see the stripes mark uh, what goes well so it not, will not be very hard to 
see it, this one is the rear, I think. Oh, it's just a battery cover. This, uh, uh, how to say it, this hole in, in here, it's for the seal, so you put it, uh, put this on and it will lock on it, it will seal by itself, so it's quite nice. The batteries will probably not leak very fast. So here is the rear part. Oh, it's a oil on it. Oh, so that's nice uh, to keep uh, lubricating the, the axle. Okay, let's take the second one. Nothing here to see. It's just two tubes, just the middle, uh, the middle, uh, the main body. So nothing interesting. This is here. Uh, the stickers go to the side. The next part. Okay, so here is the stand, and another part is just. As I see, put it like this, like this. It's great because, uh, same as on the bolts, you always have a display and a stand for it. So that's that's nice. I, I like this idea. Uh, and here you have oh two propellers and a something. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I think I will. Uh, learn that on the on the manual. So there are numbers. I don't know if the parts have also the numbers. Uh, yes, yes, they have. So it's a B one two three, and this part is a eight. And you have one two three four five six seven eight. So eight is of course for for the fin fins I think they call it uh, and the battery mm, this one is okay you could use the pliers I have it my fault and here is uh, let's put it to the side here is the battery the on off say 150 motor with a uh, the tape transparent cheap tape on it it's always keeping uh, will keep the water from making a short circuit okay so <clears throat> let me get the manual here oh and the seals so let's open that also. I hope I will not lose them all. And that's all. Okay, so let's see what do we have in here. First is one of the barrels. And now is the interesting part. So it's the one with with only this one and you put the seals on oh the seal doesn't look good so let's take oh that will not be easy <laughs> okay I'm wrong that was easy another one and this part is ready so now we take this part we take this part and we need to take this something of it. Let me get a good angle. So the second part was already broken uh, or just disconnected. And we put it like this. And we put this one inside. Oh, this one is tight. Little more, little more. How to say, but okay. I think that was. I think this one 
is spinning while the bolt is uh, while the torpedo is running so that's more for the I don't think stabilization is just for the effect maybe I may be wrong but I'm not a special scientist about this part so now let me see uh, wait it, it's one oh sorry it's the six <laughs> wrong one so now the battery sorry the the manual goes like this not uh, not like this so okay so this let me see how the motor goes it's like this so cable should be like this and they have made a mistake in here but I think I still uh, am able to put that um, no it is okay so this one goes through uh, so in this moment I should put batteries inside oh that's interesting as you may see there is a uh, I don't know how this plug is called but it's used for uh, batteries that's interesting okay so uh, uh, let me put the batteries I will take one of my 18 batteries that lay on the desk put it right here I don't know if the motor will run no it will not let's see yep it's a walking so here it like this now the bo both tubes I don't know if they are Oh, they are. I think they are the same. Yes, they are the same. So this one goes like this. And the motor goes out. Goes for the seal. Okay, that's like this. Oh, I may just not put the my. this batteries I think I will put a normal battery so give me a second I will get a normal batteries okay I have two batteries is a standard and pro version of Panasonic let me put that inside now in case this will drown I want to lose my batteries rechargeable so I will use this okay so we have the step 3 now for the step 4 uh, hmm, let me see step 4 is the motor and I think this part in here oh, oh, wait, I need to also put this on I forget about that Charging, uh, changing batteries maybe a bit difficult here but that's not a big problem so now uh, wait let me show you on the camera what do I see in this moment so we are in here we have this tube we have this motor there is a seal on the motor if I can see good and that's the one with the barrel and it's so hard to see so let me this is a very useful small one big one oh, wait because this and this one is not the same what do you how this one do oh so that's for the front so now this one needs uh, another two seals so let me put this on and put this on so this is like this now this uh, so the motor take if I see good this seal it's not so small they use this, the tweezer for it and that's a bit loose and this go on like this so this way I think it's like this let's 
make a small twist or maybe like this so the axle should go go full but it's a specific angle of it I think it's like oh see the motor yes we have it oh so the motor is holding tight inside so and now goes the very bad cut and that's it's very very bad cut so this one goes like this and does the connector with the uh, with the uh, the drive shaft drive shaft I don't know it's uh, that, uh, that axle no no axle sorry I don't know all the names so so as far as I understand no this one doesn't go now side so we have now the there's another interesting part so oh I will so we need a hammer for it let's see I need a propeller cut it out it's not bent and they say oh that will be hard so uh, for uh, putting this on oh I love how this look so I try to focus a lot on this oh that looks so great so to put this on uh, you need to use hammer so uh, let me prepare it I will also take a, a piece of wood because I don't want to crush it or crush my desk <laughs> and I will use uh, that hard part is that you may not uh, know if it's uh, inside or not so that's a little interesting uh, kids uh, for this part be better uh, take someone older just to uh, to hammer it inside so this may be the only part that uh, a grown man may need to do same as here because this one goes inside very hard but I think the little older kids may still find it easy so let me prepare the tools okay so this is my drill wood as you can see it look, look like cheese because I'm using that for drilling through just to not damage it let me find a good spot for this like maybe in here because the hole will be better the camera may pick up this very loud so try to hit it like this the camera is in the way so it's very hard for me So uh, sorry, how to see through the camera? Mm, that may be uh, difficult. That's why they give you two. <laughs> oh, that will be hard, but good. I have two. <laughs> bigger hole like in here Mm-hmm. 
different angle. Oh yes, it's, it's going for. So the first part is only half. Let me see if I did not bend. Yes, I did bend this one. Uh, hope this will still work. Also. This one is still bent. That's the. So this is a hard part for for this. Okay, I think this will still work. This, this one, I really would would not like to break it. So as you can see, is this one? Okay, I will leave it like like this. I still have a spare one, so they they know that this part is very hard. Ah, too bad, my mistake. Okay. We going on so uh, is the six part we already did <laughs> so yeah on the seven one that is uh, putting the this part inside and okay. oh so. Going on the motor. Oh, this will be very hard also. So I may have to put this part first. Oh, that's stuck. I don't want to break the cable, but okay. Now I may put the propeller. This spinning fan, let me turn it on and try to show on the camera. And maybe get a wheel. Oops, I did something wrong. Again, maybe it's the batteries. No, they are charged. That's spinning. So it is getting a friction in some part. Let's try to put the motor tomorrow. Yes. So the motor need to be pushed all the way inside very hard. Ah, it's still the same problem. The hard part part is that I may not be able to take this. <laughs> out again <laughs> oh. that's all the way inside so that's a mama I don't think that's the battery it's, it is uh, let me let's the flat screwdriver and push a little bit out and see what that will work. No, that so it's not the propeller. I think that's the motor fault. But, uh, that will be very hard to take it apart again. So putting the hmm, I would not like to do this but I have no choice. Just to get the motor a little to the back. Oh yes, that's worth it. So motor was too far and it was uh, rubbing against something. Oh, that's working very nice. Okay, so that's done. Uh, I don't know if I put it together now. Yes, I put that inside now. So changing batteries may be difficult. No, it will not because this part opens very easy. And this thing getting very long. Now, the next part is this fins. 
Uh, so the so let's scan this. Oh wait, 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 wait. Do we have any information about the numbers? So it's A1, A2. So it's uh, wait, eight. How was that? Eight one. No, I think they are the same. So okay, so we cut it closer as we can. Let's cut this too. Let's make the same thing here. Same thing here. Uh, let's cut it all. Uh, why it's uh, two pounds? Because this uh, torpedo can be. Uh, not controlled. Uh, it may uh, you may select how the torpedo will uh, work, will swim. Oh, let's, lay, let's say like this, because uh, the torpedo can uh, rotate or uh, can turn, or uh, also by uh, changing the position of the battery inside, you can select. Uh, the angle uh, of the torpedo in the water so uh, let's say it's something like RC but it's not <laughs> okay so as far as I understand let's see again that picture da, 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 da. so the, the smaller part like this and hmm, it's like this as far as I see, yes, that the, uh, is the flat, and you can control it. So that's very great thing because you can uh, always have some control of it over this. This one goes like this, and this starting to look great. And let's assemble the others. I know you again may hate me for a long video but if you want me to talk that's how it's always look like okay. this one like this this one like this and in this part I will start to use the exposition stand so now uh, the next part is the nine Oh, it is uh, showing uh, uh, this is uh, the off and this is on because it's inside I think what what they mean so they want to put it inside and rotate wait let me see this part oh uh, there is a tabs on the sides so uh, that's why there is a oh, hold on. That's why there is a plug in here because you put it like this and then you align with the tabs on the sides like this. You push it inside and you are rotating it and you are able to do that I think. That's not too easy. But I see there is a tab in here, maybe the... Oh, sorry. Why? How they did this part? They did not. So... I have it all the way inside. Oh, sorry, I'm hitting the camera. I don't. I really don't want to break the the switch because I don't have one like this. But I have no idea. Oh yes. So not now it is on. I the most easy way is to use this part. There is a flat spot for the cables and just rotate it. So I will not rotate it fully. I don't need it. It's oh there there are tabs no. No, not. I may rotate it a little more. No, I will keep it. I don't want to break the circuit. 
uh, there is a seal for it or two wait and you can see this picture there is one seal for this part so I do get one extra no yes I do have two seals Oh, sorry, one is on this side, like this, like this, and there are two grooves in here, but I think that's the first one, because it's, I think it's bigger. Let's push it inside. This one got a little stretched. Okay, so now what do we have next? This one is covered in the talc, and I don't know how this uh, white uh, dust call it, but it is preventing from weight doesn't need this ah oh. so this one is the spare one and I don't know if I will get it out now oh yes I have it so uh, on this side it doesn't use a seal so this one is the spare one like the other two because there are two uh, grooves inside oh yes it's the grooves and corresponding so if you put it like this they snap it in, uh, snap inside now we connect the this part and now we will work with the cable let's put it like this put it like this and that's already it is very long as you can see i need to put it a little far so you turn it on like this and the motors work no. now to steer it there are two uh, two ways uh, i don't know if the manual have it let's see if i have it all put it inside go there this time this time go there. it is here so now uh, depending on the position on the of the batteries so the batteries are in, in here so if you put the connection between two batteries in here, uh, the boat, uh, the torpedo will uh, work like this. And if you move it to the front, the torpedo will try to go to the to the bottom. And if you move it to the back, the torpedo will uh, try to go on the surface. So it is good to put it a little uh, far or just play with that. You can always un unscrew on the middle. It is screw it like like this and just uh, test it uh, now i can i can feel that it's on the back because it is uh, trying to push it uh, and uh, and that it is and here is the controlling of the uh, of the torpedo because you can also control with this so if you put it all like like this the torpedo will, uh, when it's swimming, will do something like this. That may look cool. <laughs> uh, also, you can do like this, and uh, let's say like this, and do it like this. And if the torpedo will, uh, uh, you will, if you put it like this in the water, it will try to turn to the uh, bottom. Now it will try to. Uh, go sorry I did forget to reset camera uh, so uh, if you uh, again if you put it uh, like uh, this it will try to go up if you put it like this it will try to go uh, down I, uh, good and if it will set like this it will try to turn left so you may uh, let's say control this uh, torpedo like uh, like this but i really like this there are stickers inside i will not put it right uh, right now i may put it uh, in the future there is a sticker uh, i think for uh, for the cover 
uh, EDC cover. There are two uh, stickers with the tiger, uh, tiger fish. As far as see on the picture, is for the front. Uh, there are two, two more. Uh, there is one stripe in here, one stripe in here, and one stripe in here. So there are three stripes. Yes, this one bigger goes on the front, and two goes just next to the next to the connection. And that the model goes in here. So you may want to just find a. Uh, turn on like it's uh, like it's sitting and just glue it just to look uh, good so uh, for me it's a very great product it is a little very little hard to assemble it is for a 14 years old it's on the box it's located for kids for 14 years plus uh, but uh, for adult it's really great I really like it because it's with the batteries it's not uh, lightweight it is easy you can always configure uh, all the uh, steering in uh, in here and the battery uh, position to to keep it in the water uh, so that's for me is one of the best uh, Maybe not. No, for me it's the one of the best keys because uh, the robot uh, was nice, but this one will be much more fun. Because we, I have a RC boats, uh, as you may, uh, as uh, I did not uh, post it the movie yet. I will post it soon, and you will see how the boats work. And now I can secretly put a torpedo in the water and uh, run into my friend boat. <laughs> Uh, I really like it, I like the stand, I think I will put the stickers on just for the picture uh, and keep it in there. So that's all for now, uh, I will put the link to the, to the torpedo in the description.